Very good evening my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So I decided to make this video because I just wanted to clear a few things that I have seen recently in the comments. Of course, the first one I want to clear that right now I am using a demo account because as you can see the account now is 42,000. This is just a demo account because I'm about to open few trades in front of you just to show you a demonstration of how to use our Extreme Trader Forex signals. Of course, I never want to do that right now in the live account because I'm about to open the trades randomly. So what I really wanted to clear here in this video, the confusion about the, the pips that we are announcing every week. Some members, because we are announcing, for example, that this week we have made... Uh, one second, let me show you. So, for example, uh, here uh, uh, last week or actually the week before, uh, the week of October, the first week of October, we have made 307 pips of profit uh, delivered to our clients. And the week after, we have made 542 pips of profit for our clients. Now, the discussion is about do we really or can we really earn this amount of pips? The members are asking, can we, Salah, really make 542 pips trading your signals? Let me show you the answer in short, in short terms. So I decided to make this chart right here. And as you can see, this one here is showing the Extreme Trader weekly pips earns. Now, let's clear here what's this chart about. Um, the blue bar is what we have made and the pink bar it what you have made or what you have taken so as you can see we were able actually to make a signals that has achieved about 740 pips of profit but for you in your case as a client maybe it's really difficult for you to get the same amount of pips and you will get only 470. that is the idea here because when we are sending a signal let me just show you when we are uh, we are sending any signal, let me open for let me go to the one minute, five minutes. So when we open a signal right here, for example, we are having several systems to use our signals. You can either select a take profit number one and accept only take profit number one without any other take profits. So as you can, as you know, when we send the signal, we're sending it with take profit number one, take profit number two take profit number three now for example if the signal has exceeded the take profit number one and has exceeded take profit number two and reached the take profit number three of course in the end we are going to take the credit of the signal if it has reached take profit number three now what have you done is something really up to you maybe you just took the signal and decided to exit the trade at take profit number one Maybe you took the signal and decided to keep it running until take profit number two only. But what about me and Angela? What about us? We have earned the, profit, the, the credit because we said that this signal, we are having three targets for them to reach it. So that's why what I said here is um, when we are saying that, that we have made this week 750 pips of profit, that is the maximum. That is the whole capacity of our I don't know if capacity is the right word or maybe the 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 full load or the full amount of pips that has been uh, reached however I'm telling you it's it's not easy it's not maybe it's hard to get the same amount of pips because it depends on the signal itself we are experts as me and Angela I mean we are experts we know exactly if the market is going to continue fall or reverse and sometimes we have to do that and uh, therefore uh, for the traders or for the clients they don't know that and therefore they have to close the trade earlier than us therefore it's maybe not possible for them to get the same pips the same pips we're announcing but however the whole amount of pips that we were able to make is 750 pips of profit now it's really up to how you have traded your signals to get how many or to decide how many pips you have got i think you have got the point right so every every week we are making, for example, here we have made 800 pips of profit, but for you as a trader, you have made only 570 pips only. So at least you are making a profit. Let me show you a very good example of two different people. Here, for example, my friends, this is one of the traders. October 14, he sent me this picture, and as you can see, he have made in just one day, seven hundred and two dollars of profit now the day after just the day after he have made one thousand 
48 dollars of profit now let's see the other example of another trader another trader using our signals he's saying the opposite he's saying is, is there something wrong with my strategy i joined the premium group for the first time last week and since then i have lost 442 dollars until now so here this guy have lost money meanwhile this guy have actually made money what's the difference between these two guys the big difference is the experience because this gentleman here this gentleman here he have been with us or sorry he has been with us for more than two years this gentleman here on the right side he have been he has been with us for only one week notice that what uh, actually we're advising the new clients and members in the forex group and the forex uh, signals group to use only the demo account for the first two weeks just to get familiar with the signals and how to use them we never tell you to go immediately to your live account so of course my friend you need some more time to understand how to use the signals so the signals themselves are very profitable and actually you can make a lot of money using our signals but however it depends on how you are using the signals allow me to show you this so this is our website www.extreme-trader.com if you go to this website you can see here clearly a button of how to trade signals let's click on this button and it will take us to the four options that we are recommending to use our signals I want to show you something here let me go back to this gentleman here notice something uh, look at option number three option number three is open three trades all having same stop loss meaning if we send the signal for example to the short let me just close this one so we can open a new one so uh, let me just delete all these lines what we can do we can, what, what you can do actually of course open three trades op uh, trade number one two and three now you have three trades what you can do is you can set uh take profit number one for the first trade take profit number two for the second and take profit number three for the third signal and of course all of them should be sharing the same stop loss that's what just one of the options now is it really a good way of trading i think not but however it's one of the options look at this guy here who have actually made a lot of money what he did here my friends look at the trades euro nzd three times pound aud three times nzd cad three times and so on so this gentleman here he is actually following the option number three option number three is exactly like this you can open three trades all having same stop loss now of course uh, this way of trading somehow it is risky but it's in the end it's one of the options again the signal is really up to you how to handle the signals we are not doing account management here we are not doing fund management we are just sending you the signal to start sell or buy a certain level of any currency and we have take profit number one two three now how do you trade the signals this is really up to you you should decide how to trade the signals we should not be the one telling you what to do next you can just accept to take the trade on take uh, to, to accept uh, the profit on take profit number one or what you can do actually you can if that if the if for example if you have placed sell order and the candle kept falling down and it hit take profit number one and it continued to fall even more and more down what you can do is you can move the stop loss drag the stop loss down all the way to the take profit number one and then in this case if the candle will ever rise up again it will hit the stop loss which is actually a profit and the trade will close or if the candle will continue falling it's gonna continue falling until it hit take profit number two and so on now for example do you really want me to count the pips based on that of course i cannot do that because not everyone is trading the same way you are doing sir not everyone trading the same way you do therefore if the signal in the end if it continue to fall and reach take profit number three i'm going to count this as uh, a signal uh, as an earned pips for extreme trader because we have earned it maybe you have closed the trade right here after it reversed to the take profit number one meanwhile some many other traders they did not close the trade and they left it running until it fall down more to the take profit number three 
So why you, do why do you want me to count how much pips you have earned, not how much pips we have earned? So this is really a big confusion, and I don't know why some people cannot understand it because I think it's a very obvious point that we actually uh, deserve to get the credit for every single tech profit being hidden. If the signal, for example, will continue the rise uh, uh, against our entry and hit the stop loss, then of course we never count it. Of course, absolutely. For example, let's say that the signal right now it will reverse and it hit take profit number one. Maybe it will rise again and go all the way to the to the stop loss. In this scenario, what will happen? Nothing. We will take the credit for take profit number one. Why? Because as I said, in the end, everyone is going to take the profit, take profit number one. Everyone, literally everyone, everyone who have entered the signal will get the take profit number one. So what will happen after the take profit number one is really something up to you. What will happen after take profit number one? Do you want to close the trade? Check. Yes, it's up to you. Do you want to keep it running? Check. Yes, it's really up to you. Um, do you want to open a pending order? Do you want to move your stop loss? Check. Yes, it's really up to you. Again, it's all fully up to you, my friends. We are just a signal provider. We are not doing funds management. You really have to understand this part. It's very important. You cannot ask us, what should I do? Should I keep the trade running? Should I close it? Should I move the stop loss? We cannot tell you. So I really hope the point is now clear and no more confusion there about how to use our signals you can please refer to our website to f to to review the um, the ways of how to use our the, the, uh, our signals and as i said before once you join you can actually use your demo account just to understand how to use the signals of course i just wanted to remind everyone about our results today it was really fantastic and i for i forgot to share with you the results today five signals have actually reached the take profit uh, all of them all of them are in profit today was full of green yesterday also was really very good day as you can see and the day before was also very good with a very tiny small losses against uh, a lot of profits so again indeed we are doing very well in the group and i'm very very proud of our results in the extreme trader forex signals group so in the end if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact Angela. You can find her contact details in the description below this video, or you can visit our website www.extreme-trader.com. In the end, I hope that was informative to you, and I would like to thank you for watching.